Ooh. Oink, 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 oink. It is Tepic Community Day, guys. Yeah, Tepic is getting a community day and it's going to get its shiny form released also. So hi, hi to all of you guys. So guess what, guys? You guys are really looking at the big Tepic over here because I slept till 12.30. <laughs> it's Tepic Community Day and actually it's three times catch Stardust and actually I wanted to grind out 1 million Stardust but I asked myself like if I grind out 1 million Stardust during the Tepic Community Day and get so much Candy XL for Tepic what am I going to use it for? So I didn't want to grind out this during this period but instead I'm going to grind more after the Tepic Community Day I know it's a bit weird but that's what I'm going to do to get Candy XL for other Pokemon that I actually want so anyway, I'm going to bring my screen up and you guys can see it's already 12.58 p.m. And it's really, really late already. And actually, I spent a few minutes also talking to a couple who were playing Pokemon Go and they were actually on their way to another hotel for staycation. Actually, they stay over here at where I stay. And we wanted to do a special trade for Shiny Badoo because the guy actually had one shiny Badoof and the lady did not get herself a shiny Badoof at all so I wanted to trade to her however she has really done her special trade and she forgot so too bad <laughs> we'll trade another time and we have exchanged contacts so anyway you guys can see there are a few topics over here okay we're gonna I guess uh, do the special research for today only because there's not other things to show you guys but I've really let my ball plus catch the topic for the last 30 minutes so I might have gotten a shiny already who knows right Okay, so we're gonna talk to Professor Willow. Oh my god, I tapped on him and he did not know where. Okay, whatever. Okay, well, let's go ahead and see. We got four stages to complete, alright? So the first task is to power up Pokemon 10 times. The second, I believe, is to catch, I think, 15 Tepics. And the last one is to make five Nice Trolls, which I've completed just now because I caught like a few Pokemon, including two Shadow Pokemon from the Team Go Rocket Grunts. So we're going to power up Pokemon 10 times and uh, we're going to, you know, continue that, man. Yeah, because saw I caught a Pokemon over there. Let me go ahead and power up the Pokemon 10 times. All right, we can max this, uh, I guess, uh, uh, Grimer. Yeah, okay. I know it's a bit mad though, but uh, sure. Yay! Maxed out Alolan Grimer. What am I doing, man? All right, so let's go ahead and claim the rewards. And it's going to get us a Tepic, definitely. Okay, because Tepic is the featured Pokemon. And like I said, initially I wanted to grab 1 million Stardust. That's why I have a total of 2,000 Ultra and Great Balls ready and not a lot of Pokeballs. I got rid of the Pokeballs thinking that I would actually be hand catching a lot. However, yeah, change of plans last minute, but it's okay. In fact, I was supposed to meet up with Auntie Gladys and Anne in the morning at 10.30 to prepare to grind with them on the bus for 6 hours. And I was confident to get like you know, 450 Pokemon caught per hour, which will add up to like more than 2,400 Pokemon caught in 6 hours, which will get more than 1 million Stardust. However, yeah, like I said, I'm the Tepic. I got really lazy. I mean, Tepic is not that lazy. It's definitely not as lazy as Slacking or Snorlax. Yeah, like the one in my room. Okay, so anyway, the second stage of this research though, I mean, come to think of it, the name of the special research is called Roasted Berries. I forgot to mention to you guys that and it's really nice though. Why is it called roasted berries? To be honest, I really don't know. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna catch 15 Tepics. We're gonna transfer 10 Pokemon and we're gonna evolve 3 Tepics. Okay, we can do all that. But very simple. Let's go ahead to uh, see if we can get ourselves a shiny from the cluster over here. If we can, really awesome. If we cannot, it's okay. We still gotta continue to catch the Tepics. Remember, you wanna catch all the Pokemon that you tap on and not just shiny check. I've emphasized and repeated this many, many times because Catching Pokemon gets you Stardust, even if it's just 100 Stardust per catch, it adds up over time, over time, over time. And eventually you'll get a lot and a lot of Stardust. So Stardust to me actually is not really that important. What I really want is the Candy XL from the Pokemon. So in terms of the number one resource that I want to get from Pokemon Go right now at this stage is actually Candy XL for important Pokemon that I want to get. Not so much of XP or Stardust anymore when you have already played to this stage of the game. You really just want to try and max out your Pokemon to level 50. So Candy XL to me is actually really more important than any resource in the entire game. Okay, so uh, okay, we got one shiny Tepic over there. Nice! 784. Okay, we're gonna catch this Tepic and evolve it, man. And we're gonna see how it looks like once it does its evolution. Let me just go ahead to type shiny to see if my Ball Plus... Oh, okay, my Ball Plus actually caught another shiny Tepic also. Nice! 
Okay, we're gonna evolve this tactic, the one that I just hand caught. I don't even know what the IVs are because I didn't even uh, appraise it, but who cares? If it's a Shando, yay! If it's not a Shando, uh, yay! I mean, it's a shiny, yeah, right? Yay! Okay, so let's see how shiny Pig Knight looks like. It looks like this, with like purplish uh, rings around its clothes, I guess. Yeah, and it has a lighter body color to it. And also, um, I actually have one tactic that I want to evolve though. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's supposed to be TE, just don't have the G for my typing. Okay, so Tepic, I actually have this particular Tepic that's already power up to a level 50 Tepic. I'm gonna evolve this later on to Embor to get the Community Day move Blast Burn. And if you ask me if I'm gonna get one for the Great Lake and Ultra Lake, uh, maybe not because I've already mentioned in the video for the Community Day tips that Embor isn't too good for the Ultra or Great Lake, but I still would try and get it just in case you know in case in case it actually gets a new move and it gets buffed all right so anyway we're gonna do the usual way of transferring pokemon very very easy very very quick transferring all those step picks and also you guys can see the candy xl is at 103 already after even powering up one to level 50 so i'm going to evolve this uh second shiny one to complete the task and i'll update you guys once i am done with the step picks all right guys we are down to the very last step pick to catch it's not shiny, but it's totally fine. Eventually, the Tepic supply for shiny will be too much. Yeah, for everyone. And uh, nobody wants to trade for any more shiny Tepics. Anyway, let's go ahead and claim the second stage reward. And we are going to get a pick night. Yep, as usual. Oh my god, the sun is out. So hot. Now I'm weather boosted. Yeah, how I wish the Tepics are weather boosted also. By the sun. But... It's not sunny in-game right now. Okay, we got one incense, which is nice. And of course, we got an encounter with another tactic. Remember also to always uh, Mega Evolve the typing of the Pokemon that's similar to the Community Day Pokemon. Like right now, I've evolved my Mega Charizard because it is a fire and flying typing Pokemon. That is the same as the tactic because it's a pure fire type Pokemon. Yeah, to get more candies also if you just want to do that. All right, so we got stage three that we are looking at to make three great curve trolls, evolve one, pick knight, and transfer 10 Pokemon. Well, we will have to do it to our shiny one, right? And of course the Hundo also. So I'm going to do it to my shiny and let's see how shiny pick knight looks like, okay? I mean, shiny ember, sorry. All right, so with the blue flames, shiny ember, this is how it looks like registering to the Pokedex. Yeah, I've not evolved any of this at all, guys. Yeah, I don't really bother about the Pokédex at all. Anyway, I have to evolve the Hundo, but we're going to transfer 10 Pokémon and make 3 Great Curve Trolls also. Yeah, I should have just continued sitting at the same spot and not come here, man. So hot. But the problem is, if I were to continue to sit there, there were no spawns there already, alright? So we're going to transfer the 10 Pokémon, which will do so to the whole bunch of Tepics. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, we got Auto Selected. Nice. And uh, we're going to claim the rewards, man. Okay, let's go ahead and claim the... Rocket Radar also, really really awesome. Alright, Rocket Radar cost 200 coins, so good that we are able to get that. Let's go ahead to talk to Professor Willow again. And yes, Professor Willow, what do you want us to do? Nothing already, very good. We can claim the rewards. Thank you for the free rewards, Professor Willow. Let's go ahead to claim the last reward for the encounter against Tepic. And the last reward that we're going to get is over here, the final reward. We're going to get two rare candy. 3,000 Stardust and also an Encounter and that's going to be none other than the third stage evolution for this Community Day Pokemon, Embor. Yeah, so this is the very few times that you can actually catch in Embor right now, maybe in the future when Embor starts appearing in the wild, like what we can see for like Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, Swampert, Blaziken, etc. In the future, probably this generation of Pokemon will start spawning in the wild also. Yeah, so doing excellent throw on Embor is not that difficult since the circle is so big and yeah, I mean it's big also. <laughs> okay, so we caught the Embor. Let's go ahead to see if it actually has Blast Burn. Yeah, it does have Blast Burn, okay. I'm actually going to set my Ball Blast to catch Pokemon because I'm so lazy right now. But later, after Community Day ends, like I said, I'm going to hand catch all of them. To catch the Candy XL for other Pokemon like uh, that I want, like like Mudkip, like Machop, etc., and not XL Candy for uh, Embor. Yeah. So anyway, let's. Oh my God, my Ball Plus is like 
Can I, let, let me let me connect my ball plus. So what happened was that the stripe uh, came off. So I have to reconnect the stripe again as the button isn't being pressed on the top. So anyway, let's go ahead to also uh, evolve our... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's start Hundo to see if we got ourselves any new Hundos. No! But we're going to see those new Hundos that I've got done, like Bidoof and uh, Chespin. Yay! That was hatched. Okay. Uh, we're going to type Tapic. Oh, no, no. Pick Knight. Pick Knight, right? Okay. So we're going to evolve this into Ember right now because I want a Hundo Ember with Blast Burn. Though high chance I will not use it as, at all Since I already have Blaziken and in fact Reshiram And Chandelier etc that's way better than Ember in a PvP situation PvE sorry situation And for PvP wise uh, Yeah they are way better Pokemon than uh, Ember to use okay So anyway I'm still gonna label as my usual way of labeling 100% attack Yes low kick and uh, and <laughs> Blast burn that's not what you want Ember is your best option, it does not have fire spin, so that's the sad thing. Alright, so that's how it looks like, man. Level 50 Ember immediately. Didn't even need to power it up at all, since I powered it up in the past already. Okay, and I think there's nothing else that I need to show to you guys already. I'd rather do raids, since it's an overseas raid, to actually uh, spend my time during this community day, and in fact, raiding Deoxys right now, than to catch that pigs. Yeah, oh, okay, see, even N would rather raid. See, N is also in the raid lobby. Hi, N. Yeah, okay, I'll come and find you and Auntie Gladys soon, okay? Wait for me. Yeah, Chotomate. Yeah, so I think that's all that I have to show to you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video and let me know in the comment section down below. Did you guys go hard and play hard for Tapic Community Day? If you guys are curious to know how many shinies I got at the very end of the Community Day, well, um, stay tuned for another video, man. You guys might just see it in the next video or the next next video or whatsoever. Definitely more than 10. Definitely going to be more than 10. I really predict it's going to be more than 10. That's how it is like for community days, right? Alright, so that's it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. You guys want to see this Tyranita get taken down so quickly with the four of us? Ta-da! Tyranita has fainted in under 30 seconds. Woohoo! Alright. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. In the next video, in the next community day or so. On the 15th of August. Remember, 15th of August, it will be community day, but not before. Go Fest starts on the 17th of July. All right, this month, two weeks' time. Excited for that, man. All right, and then goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.